Email marketing is a great way to turn leads into customers and also some of your customers who have purchased, it's a great way to turn them into repeat customers as well. So someone who not only just bought from you once and never returns to your website again, but someone who is a loyal customer and comes back to your website on a consistent basis and that makes additional purchases. E-commerce companies like yours depend heavily on repeat business and email marketing is a great way to ensure that your customers are coming back and making regular purchases. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn your Squarespace website email marketing into a profitable marketing campaign for you so you can drive additional revenue back to your Squarespace website. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video I'm speaking about Squarespace and how you can utilize the email marketing capabilities within Squarespace to help you drive additional revenue back to your e-commerce business. So firstly in the Squarespace menu you want to go and find where it says marketing and click on that. You then want to go and find email campaigns and click on that as well. Now that will take you to this page where you can create a new marketing list. So you want to go here to where it says mailing lists and here you should see the option on the top corner where it says add and here is where you can add or create a new mailing list. So if you click on that, you then want to create your name for your mailing list. Now you can create as many mailing lists here as you need to. Uh, for example, you might name this one leads. So this could be uh, your mailing list where you send people who are leads who are not yet customers of yours and you will notice that when you create a list you can actually manually add subscribers as well so if you click on that you can add their email address their name and their number now obviously you want to make sure that you gain permission from anyone that you manually add to your list according to GDPR and just general great business and marketing practice as well you want to make sure that whoever you add to your mailing list actually wants to be there and has actually given you permission to add them as well so that's something that you want to keep in mind uh, so that is an option within Squarespace as well uh, you can also import a CSV file as well if you have a CSV file which contains the name and email addresses of people who have signed up in the past for your mailing list and you're maybe migrating to Squarespace, then you can do that as well. Now it's important to note that you can actually connect your Squarespace account to MailChimp and um, I will be doing a tutorial on that in future videos. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you're not already and you wanna see that tutorial. But in this video, I'm going to focus on the kind of integrated email marketing features within Squarespace itself. Um, so as we've already done we've made our first list called leads now you can add another one here and I'm going to add one called customers and I am going to save that list so now I have two lists one for my leads and one for my customers and I'm actually going to go back to my menu and I'm gonna to go to commerce and firstly kind of alter my some of my email marketing settings within commerce. Now, firstly, I wanna scroll down to where it says checkout, click on that, and I want to enable my abandoned cart recovery email. Now, what this will do is when someone comes to my website and they click on one of my products and they add it to their cart and they start filling out their information, but for some reason they abandon their cart, meaning they don't actually go through and make the purchase. What will happen if this is enabled is, uh, after 24 hours after them abandoning their cart, they will receive an automatic email reminding them of the purchase that they did not make and giving them the option to go and reclaim and fulfill the order that they, that they was about to purchase. So you can actually customize this email as well by going to customize email and this gives you the option to, to personalize the email that they get sent automatically as an abandoned cart email. So as you can see, this is the default email that they get sent and you can leave that if you want or you can add your own customization. So if we go back again to our commerce settings and we go back to checkout, this also gives us the option to select a mailing list to allow our customers to subscribe to our mailing list at checkout. So what this means is when someone is on the checkout and they are, they are about to make a purchase of our product, you, they can see a little checkbox that um, allows them to subscribe automatically to our mailing list 
if they leave that checkbox checked. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up here. So basically, uh, if you click underneath mailing list, go to select a mailing list and it, tell, it asks you where to store your mailing list. So you can connect other email marketing services. As I've said, you can connect to MailChimp or another email service, um, but we're going to stick to the Squarespace email campaigns for the purposes of this video. So if you click on that, you can then choose from the drop down menu from the lists that you've created. So we've created leads and customers um, and you might have wanted to create more, but obviously this will be customers because it will be people subscribing who have already or who are about to check out. So I can actually select customers here. So um, that will mean that my customers will get the option to be on my customers mailing list. So as you can see, here's default text here that uh, is a checkout label which kind of entices them to subscribe. And at the moment it says subscribe to our mailing list, but you can also delete this as well and add your own text here as well. Something enticing that will encourage your customers who are about to check out to actually say, yeah, I wanna be a part of your mailing list. Maybe you're gonna give away discounts and say, you can say something like, hey, click, click the box below or keep the box below clicked if you wanna receive discounts through email or something like that to encourage people to leave it checked. And as you can see, checked by default is unchecked at the moment, but you can keep it checked so that, what that means is when your customers uh, are on checkout, it's already checked for them so they can uncheck it if they don't wanna be a part of your email list, but if it's already checked, then that just makes it easier. All they have to do is go through with their purchase and they will automatically be on your customer's email list. Now, another way to get your customers on your email list once you've saved all of these settings is to uh, kind of get them onto your list via a normal opt-in form on your Squarespace website and I'm going to show you how to do that quite easily. So you can go to any of the pages on your website where you want to add a sign up form. So let's say for example, we go to pages and we want to add one to the contact page. We can go to contact and we can edit this particular page and we can add an element. So let's add an element and let's say we want to add a newsletter element and we can choose what newsletter design we want to add to this particular page. Let's say we like this one, we can add that one and we can change uh, all of the settings here as well. So if we click on this little edit button here, it allows you to kind of change uh, the form name. You can change the title. So at the moment it says sign up with your email address to receive um, and updates, news and updates. So if you wanted to say something different, then you can just exit that out and say uh, sign up here or whatever you wanted it to say and you can add a little description if you wanted to and kind of really make it your own. You can also decide whether or not a name field is required so if you put name field required you'll see that it adds uh, another field here where people will basically add their name. You can also add a disclaimer here as well. Now one thing I will say is if you ask for a name field it's great because you can personalize your emails and say um, hey whoever it is who've signed up, welcome to the email list or whatnot. And you can really make them feel at home on your email list. But the more information you do ask from your subscribers, the less likely they are to actually input that information. So that will lower the amount of people who are willing to give away that information. So it's kind of like um, a catch 22 here, but it's up to you really if you wanna gather names and email addresses or just email addresses. So once you've done all of that and you've made those, those changes, you then wanna go up here to where it says storage. And this is very similar to what we've seen before. You can click on Squarespace email campaigns or you can connect another service and go to the drop down menu. And again, choose which list you want to add these particular subscribers to. Now these people won't be people who are my customers. They're gonna be people who are my leads. So I can add them to my leads list as well and I can apply that to that particular uh, for, that particular form and that will be added to this particular page. So another thing that you might want to consider once you've saved these changes is again, going back to your menu, clicking on marketing, and you can actually add a promotional pop-up. So when you click on promotional pop-up, you can display a pop-up if you would like that will come up just like this one that's come up here. So if I click on this, 
then it will basically display that pop-up on my website. Now, pop-ups can be a great way for you to kind of drive additional leads back to your business. So it's a great marketing functionality to have and feature to have to kind of get people on your mailing list, list who may not have even thought about becoming someone on your mailing list before. So what you want to do is you can edit your options here. So you can edit the action. So choose a newsletter form or button. So you can edit your goal here. People can sign up for a newsletter or they can click a button. You can also, again, choose your storage options here. So these will be people who are leads again. So you wanna add them to your leads rather than your customer lists. So you can click leads. Um, you can also select your email uh, field placeholder as well. So at the moment it says uh, nothing there, but it can just say email. And that will literally just be a placeholder as you can see there to encourage people to leave their email. Um, you can also uh, edit this, the submit button label. So instead of saying subscribe, you can say sign up or whatever it is you want to say. And you can add your disclaimer and your post uh, submit message as well. At the moment, it just says thank you. And when you're happy with those changes, you can literally just click on save. And then if we go back to promotional pop-up, we might want to also change the content so you can add a headline and text. Um, at the moment, it says join our mailing list. So you can edit that if you wanted to. And you can edit the body as well to say whatever it is you wanted to say to make it more personal to your website. Um, and you're going to want to use, again, enticing language that encourages people and gives them an incentive to sign up to your email list. So don't just say sign up for updates, but actually give them an, an incentive. Let them know what they're going to receive. Do you have a free gift to give them in the first email that they receive? All of that kind of information can be really useful. So again, you can change your display and timing as well. So if you click on that, you can have um, any first page, this particular pop-up will show up or you can um, um, have it only show up on certain pages. So um, if you click only show up on certain pages, then you can select what pages that this will basically show up on. Um, you can also choose a timer as well. So show on a timer. So show on scroll when someone starts scrolling, then it will show or you can show on a timer and a scroll if you wanted to. Um, so at the moment, the timer is set to after five seconds. So someone has to be on the page for after five, for more than five seconds for the pop-up to show because it can be a little bit annoying if the first thing they see when they come to that web page is your pop-up straight away. So you can delay it slightly for five seconds, 10 seconds or 30 seconds. Now you can also um, kind of have a frequency as well. So after a visitor sees the pop-up, show it again in 30 days, for example. So what this means is Squarespace will actually place a cookie on the web browser of the uh, your website visitors. And that means that if someone has seen this pop up, they won't see it again. And they will only see it again after the allotted time you've selected here. So if that be 30 days, or if that be two weeks or one week, just so that it's not annoying so that they don't see the pop up every single time they visit the site. They only see the pop up after a little while after having visited that website, which can be really useful as well. So again, you're going to want to save the changes that you make here and you can go back to your settings as well. And you can click on style and change the style of this pop-up if you like to um, kind of change the colors and change how it looks. So going back again, you can change your layout if you wanted to. They have a few layout options available for you. So you can select which one kind of suits the messaging in your, uh, your pop-up and also the overall style of your website. So that's something important as well that you might want to keep in mind. So once you've finished with all of those settings, you can go back to your email campaigns and once you've got a couple of email subscribers on your list, you might want to start creating emails. So you can go to create and you can create an automated email or you can create a blast email. Now the difference is your automated emails are emails that get sent out automatically to your subscribers and your blast emails are just an email that you manually send to your subscribers. So I'm going to click on automation here to give you an example. So you can welcome your new subscribers. So as soon as someone enters your list, you can send them a welcome email. You can say thank you with a coupon. So you can gift some of your subscribers with a coupon. Again, this is great advertising because it encourages them to go back to your website because they have a reason, because they have a coupon. Um, you can also do a one month check-in. So uh, 
automatically send an email to a subscriber who's been on your list for at least a month and you have commerce uh, sections as well so you can upsell customers you can thank your customers you can reward big purchases so for example I'm going to create a welcome new subscribers email and if I click on that it will take me to this page where I can basically create my email so I can edit this just similarly to how I would edit any page on my Squarespace website um, it has this pencil button here which allows me to click in and I can edit the content on this uh, in this particular section. I can also add sections up here as well of text, images, buttons, spaces and I can make this email um, basically my own and say what I want to say with it. So up here I can edit the style of the email and up here I can edit the actual email itself um, and as you can see in the automation settings you can automatically send this email after a subscription and you can choose what mailing list people will receive this automation for so when it says underneath mailing list I want this to be for my leads so I can select leads um, and then you can customize your timing as well so at the moment this will be sent immediately so it's, it's my welcome email so as soon as someone joins my email list then um, they will receive this but if I want them to receive this email one day later or seven days later or 14 days later or even a custom uh, day frame, time frame then I can choose custom and type that in there as well so that's how you kind of organize your automated emails you can also send as I mentioned blast emails by just going to create and then go into blast and when you click on blast everything is similar so you might want to be promoting a product to your list or announcing a sale or saying thank you or asking for support um, so let's go to promote a product and it will give you different layouts that you can utilize so I'm going to go to this one and you can use this particular layout and it's again exactly the same as the other as sending a, a an automated email the only difference is um, this will be sent straight to them so you want to create your subject line so this is going to be what they see in their, their email subject when they open up their email so you want to make that something catchy and then you can write your preview uh, email preview text as well and again choose what mailing list you want to send this to you can also choose your sender profile your legal address and you can schedule this as well so again you can have this sent immediately um, or if you don't want it to be sent immediately you can choose what day and time you want this email to go out which can be really useful as well maybe you want to schedule an email for later on down the line maybe next week or next month even you can utilize this scheduling feature um, and then you can go back and you can either schedule or send a test email or send that email immediately to your list of subscribers. So that's a quick overview of email marketing for Squarespace. I do have a playlist on this YouTube channel which will kind of help you to navigate through emails and give you some tips and suggestions of how you can get more email subscribers to register and sign up for your email list and how you can send appropriate emails to encourage more of your email subscribers to turn into customers and repeat customers so make sure you go and check out my email marketing playlist i'll leave a link to it in the description down below i also have the formula which is behind me now this is the formula to generating leads and sales online to your business so if you are starting on this journey with email marketing and you want to know how you can actually propel your Squarespace business to help generate more leads and sales for your products or services that you might have an offer on Squarespace then I highly recommend downloading my formula is absolutely free a link to it will be in the description down below and also somewhere on this screen um, so make sure you go and grab your free copy but I really do hope that this video helped you out and if it did then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend if you have any additional questions or comments then leave them for me in the comment section but until next time watch some of my other great videos make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content have a great day make sure you subscribe to this channel and download the formula and i will see you soon